Hey guys, Sam here from edmprod.com. Uh, I realized that I haven't made a video in about two weeks, so I'm pretty sorry about that. Uh, I thought I'd make a quick video on how to reduce lag, CPU lag in FL Studio uh, 11 and pretty much any FL Studio version. So even when you have a decent computer uh, like I do, you will come across lag, especially when you've got a bit going on. Um, and in this project I've got here, there's not that much going on, but you'll hear that it will still lag a bit in some sections, for example this one. Uh, note that that's a lot worse due to me recording the screen and stuff. Um, but you know, how do you, how do you get rid of that kind of thing? Because it's such a pain to produce when that's going on. Um, of course you can work on each section at a time and just ignore it but sometimes it's nice to just listen to your track through without any sort of issues. Uh, so the first thing to do if you haven't done this already would be to um, use ASIO and ASIO SoundDriver. So at the moment I'm using my audio interface. Normally I would use M-Audio USB ASIO, um, which is a very low latency driver. If you don't have an audio interface, you can use ASIO for all, um, which sort of offers the same low latency and it seems to, I'm not sure how, but it, it's easier on the CPU. Um, so that's definitely something to check out and it's free, doesn't cost anything. So if you have an audio interface, you should have an option to choose ASIO. Um, if you don't have an audio interface, then get ASIO for all. And I'll leave a link to that in the description. So that's the first thing I recommend. Now, the second thing I recommend if you've got lag like this is changing the settings on here. So you can change the buffer length. Um, you know, the, the higher it is, I believe, the less stressed your CPU will be. So if you have it down here, then you're probably going to get lag straight away unless you're running a good machine um, and you can do a few things down here um, this multi-threaded generator processing you know highlight that and the resampling but the effect it has is not that significant um, second thing I would recommend doing is going into tools macros and switch smart disable for all plugins if you do this um, it basically disables the plugins that you're not using or plugins that aren't being used at that time. So it pretty much saves CPU power um, rather significantly, I find. And another one is purge unused audio clips. So when you drag loads of stuff in and then delete it later, um, you know, it all ends up in here, even if you're not using it. So purging unused audio clips basically gets rid of that, cleans up your project a bit. Um, next thing I would recommend is to turn your internet connection off and get rid of any external programs. So that's sort of straightforward. You should, probably shouldn't have the internet on if you're producing because it's just an easy way to get distracted. Um, but make sure you're not running anything too intensive in the background. Um, now, the next thing I would recommend, uh, and this might not be, you know, this might not fancy everyone, but bouncing down to audio is probably one of the easiest and quickest ways to reduce CPU lag. Um, the only problem with this is that in the early stages of a song, for example, like I am now, I'm just working on the arrangement, you don't want to bounce stuff down to audio because you're likely to change it later. Um, and it doesn't mean you have to delete the MIDI and, you know, synth patches and that kind of thing. But it really is the easiest way to, to reduce lag. So bouncing down to audio um, saves a whole lot of CPU power, even if you do it just with drums like I am doing here. I've got my kick and audio. I've got some per percussion and audio. And that kind of thing. Um, and I, I find that working with audio is just a lot easier as well. 
So if you're not sure how to bounce down to audio in FL Studio, um, the easiest way to do it is probably by selecting one channel and a part of it going into your mixer or you know where, wherever your uh, sound is located. For example, this piano is in this mixer track. Click on the disc icon, disc recording, render to WAV files, and then you're done. You click start and it shows up in your playlist. Um, so that's, there are a couple of ways to reduce CPU lag. There are a few others, but like I said, they're not significant. Um, and I suppose the last thing is keep your project tidy and don't add things that you don't need to add. Um, if you use 10 instances of Nexus, you're probably going to get lag. Um, so ask yourself if you really need 10 instances instances of Nexus and if you need 10 layers for your Super Saw because most of the time you'll find that you don't. Uh, so I hope some of this helped. Uh, if you've got any questions, leave a comment below. And yeah, I'll see you next time.